Welcome everyone with the devotional Saturday by YWAM Amsterdam. I work here full-time missionary and I staff the UP DTS, Urban Presence DTS um, that we have here. Uh, DTS is a discipleship training school that we have here and I staff one of them in September. Um, yeah, so I want to share something about the goodness of God and um, I want to share something about how, how that was for me. And um, yeah, first thing that I want to talk about is that like it's a foundational thing first because a lot of times in life we realize that we can have opinions about people um, so we believe if they're good or if they're bad so we look at their actions we look at their situations um, and what they tell you and then you can decide hey I think this is a good person or hey this is a bad person but then with God I realized with God it's a fact it's not an opinion, but it's a fact. God is good, and it's a foundational truth. So then the next question is, do you believe that God is good? Do you believe in the fact that God is good? And now I just want to share a bit of my story that happened two years ago. It was 2018 in January, and I went to Australia. And in Australia, I did a DTS, a discipleship training school at YUM, but then in Australia. And it was really cool because at that time, I was just struggling with the fact of like, hey, do I believe that God is good? I actually don't. Because when I look into the world, I'm like, hey, I don't believe God is good. Or in my personal life, I don't believe that God is good. I believe that God is real. I believe he's, he's in our lives and he created us. I believe in creation, but I don't believe he's a good God. Um, so I struggled with that. I had questions and I was like, where do I go with this? And how do I deal with all these things that people say that God is good, but I don't believe it? And at one point, there was one night, um, and it was just praising Him, worshiping Him. And we were just um, having a night of worship and praising God and making Him, um, saying that He was good. And at one point, someone took the mic and he was like, yeah, we're going to have a moment of silent and we just want to say, everyone... Like, what is on your heart, you can just say it out loud. And if you don't have anything, that's also fine. You can just praise Him. You can break off lies by speaking them out loud because that creates that you bring things to the light. And at one point, something started to stir in me and I was like, okay, I need to say it. I need to say it. I don't believe that God is good. And it was completely silent in the whole room and so many people were there and it just came from so deep out of me. It was like, I don't believe that God is good. And I, there was so much emotion and I was weeping and I was like, whoa, I don't believe that God is good. And it became so real to me. But then at one point, the moment I spoke it out, everything that, every reason I had that God wasn't good just went away. And it felt like he just renewed my mind completely. And I went to the person afterwards and I said to him, I was like, I, I said this. I was like, hey, I don't believe that God is good. And at that point, I couldn't think of anything that God wasn't good. He renewed my mind and I was like, whoa, where do I go from now? And it was just the start of a journey. The start of a journey walking with God and discovering who he actually is without any judgment towards him already but letting him see show you who he is so I started to realize hey I need to meet this God if I want to trust him I need to know who God is so I started to read more Bible more Bible and I started to just pray to him ask him who are you show me who you are and I started to realize throughout the whole Bible he just shows who he is his whole character comes forth that he is faithful, that I started to read about Jesus, about how he sent his only son to the earth, become flesh, and that he just walked through the earth without doing any sin, and just also have so many people around him that do sin and do evil, but still walking in the goodness and walking with good intentions, with the love towards us. And it just impacted me so much that I started to trust God. I was like, whoa, 
I believe that God is real, but I also see now that he is good and that he has an in immense amount of love for us and that he wants to love on us so much. And I realized that and I was like, whoa, I just want to put all my trust in this God because I realized every time throughout the whole Bible, you just see that men are, that humans are not capable of deciding what is good and evil. But only God is because he is good and he created everything. So then by spending time with him, I, tr I started to understand that I can't understand everything, but I have to trust the person who can. And that is God. So then I realized with everything in the here and now, you have corona happening, you have people in situations that you don't understand, you get frustrated. But there is a God who is good and understands and he knows everything. And then I was like, I can just rely on him because I'm a person who wants to understand everything. I will ask every question that I can think of to understand every single thing. But with God, I was like, I don't have to. I can just rely on the fact that I know that God is good and I, I can rely on that fact because I understand who he is and I know him. So out of relationship, we can walk with what God is telling us and we can actually trust him. So that's where my journey comes of like the goodness of God because now I can actually say like, hey, I believe that God has something good planned. Even though I see evil, I know he has a higher way and that's also kind of a theme that is in my life more and that's a verse that says in Isaiah, Isaiah 55 verse 8 um, if you want to look it up but I will read it to you and it says my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts says the Lord and my ways are far beyond every anything you could imagine for just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And every time I don't understand anything, I realize, and I go back to this verse, and I'm like, I don't want to do it my way, because his ways are higher. I don't, I don't want to follow my ways I just want to rely on the God who has higher ways for my life. So I want to go there and seek him for what he has for me. And that's also a challenge that I want to give you right now. That if you don't understand things, if you're struggling with the fact if God is real or not, or if you're already walking with Jesus and you're like, I don't know who Jesus is. I don't know who God is. I don't understand his actions or I don't understand why Christians do this or that. Go to the source and go to actually God and read in the Bible, pray to him and try to understand who he really is. Even though I know him for a while now and I started to know God even more, we can get to know God our whole lives and even not comprehend everything and understand everything because he is God Almighty and he created us. So we're, that will never run out. And it's so much fun to know him because once you know him, you can surrender everything to him because he will give you a higher way. The moment we give everything to him, he will give you a higher way to walk in. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's so freeing and it's so nice to walk with him because you don't have to worry about making your own way the right way. So I want to challenge you as well to just dig into the word and just seek him and show, let God show you the goodness of God, the goodness that he carries, the good intentions he has for your life. So yeah, I want to close off with that. Um, so I just, yeah, I want to remind you guys that it's just, that's what it is all about, walking in relationship with him and discovering of who he is. Um, and I want to quickly pray for you guys at the end. So yeah, Father, I thank you for who you are. I, 
yeah, we want to worship your name, we want to praise your name. And yeah, just pray for everyone who sees this video that you show them who you are, that you're good, that you're faithful, that you're trustworthy. So yeah, I just want to pray over everyone who, who is listening and who is watching. And if they know Jesus, that they go deeper with you. And if they don't, that they get a revelation of who you are. And that they, they get a hunger to go into the Bible and search who you are. So they will find out that you're good and that you're faithful and that you're real. So in Jesus' name I pray. And I pray that you have a really good weekend. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And um, have a blessed weekend.